الله الرحمن الرحيم Hello dear fourth year students I'm Dr. Muhammad Hassan Jafar Saadi In this video I will give you a lecture in surgery about thyroid gland disorders We have talked in the previous lectures about the goiter and we mentioned that the goiter is enlargement of thyroid gland and we have classified the goiter into simple goiter second group toxic goiter third group inflammatory or thyroiditis group that cause goiter and the fourth group is neoplastic goiter in this lecture we will discuss the inflammatory and the neoplastic goiter regarding thyroiditis the etiology may be infectious or may be autoimmune. Infectious causes may be acute or subacute or chronic. Acute, like acute bacterial thyroiditis, which is rare, and subacute, like the Quervian thyroiditis, and the chronic thyroiditis that is caused by tuberculosis or rarely by syphilis. Autoimmune thyroiditis, which is the most common, and most common disease is Hashimoto's disease. Also, we have Riddle's thyroiditis. About Hashimoto's disease, it is also called lymphadenoid goiter. From the name lymphadenoid goiter, that means there is immunological process that stands behind its pathogenesis. It is the most common form of thyroiditis. And the etiology of that disease is due to formation of autoantibodies against the thyroglobin and microsomes inside the thyroid follicles. And there will be antigen antibody reaction that ends in the destruction of thyroid follicles. In the Hashimoto's thyroiditis, the thyroid gland is asymmetrically enlarged, firm, nodular. That's due to granulation tissue formation inside the thyroid gland. And microscopically, there is a special cell called Askinase cells. These are acidophilic cells that, is, uh, that are found uh, at the remnant of the damaged thyroid follicles. Also, we will have evidences of the autoimmune process, and we will find there is heavy lymphocytic infiltration and plasma cells. Regarding the clinical pictures, usually the patient affected are middle-aged females with goitrous myxedema and other autoimmune diseases. This disease is autoimmune disease, so we suspect that this disease is common in females. And also, we suspect that this disease has a fluctuating course. That means there are period of exacerbation and period of remission. Also, in this disease, some patients presented with thyrotoxicosis, and most of other patients presented with myxedema. This is due to, and at the start of the pathology, there will be destruction of thyroid follicles and there will be a release of large amount of thyroid hormones into circulation. This will lead to temporary thyrotoxicosis. We usually find this in 5% of the patient and we call this period uh, Hashi toxicosis. Hashi from Hashimoto's Hashi toxicosis. But most of the patient at the time of presentation we found them in a state of myxedema. That means severe hypothyroidism. Also, we may have uh, evidences of other autoimmune disease, like erythema nodosum. Differential diagnosis of this disease is from simple nodular goiter. But in simple nodular goiter, usually the patient is in a state of eothyroid. Complications of Hashimoto's disease are myxedema, pressure effects, and lymphoma. The investigation needed in this 
Yes. Thyroid function test, as I mentioned, we may, uh, 5% of the patients in the state of thyrotoxicosis and 95% in the state of myxidine, hypothyroids. And test for antibody detec detection, we need for a uh, test for uh, antithyroglobulin and for antimicrosomal antibodies. Also, we suspect there will be high ESR and leukocytosis. Radiological investigation, ultrasound will show multiple nodules. Thyroid scan show usually low uptake. Fine needle aspiration biopsy, uh, fine needle aspiration biopsy and cytology shows Ashkenazi cells and lymphocytic infiltration. Treatment of this condition is medical treatment as far as it is immunological process, autoimmune disease. So there will be place for steroid cortisone and also we need uh, thyroxine because most of the patients as I mentioned uh, will be hypothyroid and in, uh, when there is toxic manifestation we need to give andra. Indications for surgery in this disease when there is large going through the pressure manifestation also, when there is suspicion of malignancy, like a rapid increase in size, presence of pain, ulceration, and lymph node enlargement. Another cause of thyroiditis is what we call it renal thyroiditis. Renal thyroiditis is a rare cause of good. In about 0.05% of goitas. It forms 0.05% of goitas. In renal thyroiditis, thyroid, there is extensive fibrosis in the neck that involve the thyroid, which will lead to frozen neck and woody thyroid. Uh, it may associate with uh, retroperitoneal fibrosis. This fibrotic patho uh, pathology will lead to hardness, hard thyroid, and the patient usually present with hard nodule in the thyroid and uh, will lead also to thyroid being adherent and sticky to the skin. These features make differential diagnosis from the malignancy is important, usually from anaplastic carcinoma. Usually we need fine needle aspiration biopsychology to differentiate it from anaplastic carcinoma. Also, this thyroiditis may occur on the top of Hashimoto's or the Quervian's thyroiditis. Uh, treatment of renal thyroiditis is to, to relieve the pressure on the trachea by operation. We call it Leahy's operation, which involves a mastectomy. We relieve the pressure from the trachea and also we use this part, the isthmus, for histopathological diagnosis. Another causes of thyroiditis is acute thyroiditis, acute bacterial thyroiditis. There will be bacterial infection following infection of the mouth or pharynx and the patient presented with severe neck pain, dysphagia, fever, chills treatment by proper antibiotic when there is suburation it needs a drainage also we have another type of thyroiditis what we call it subacute thyroiditis another name for it or the famous name is the Quervian thyroiditis or granulomatous thyroiditis it is considered to be a viral infection uh, and it uh, most commonly uh, it is considered as complication of mumps microscopically there is giant cells uh, the clinical presentation of this uh, disease there is a pain in the neck fever malaise firm irregular enlargement of the thyroid also there is large red hot tender thyroid gland. Uh, thyroid antibodies is absent. Investigation needed. ESR, there will be elevated ESR and decreased iodine uptake. Uh, normal or the breast white blood cell. A treatment of this condition by oral prednisolone for a few days. We suspect if there is rapid response, this is diagnostic for the Quervian thyroiditis. Now we will talk about the fourth group of causes of goiter 
which is the thyroid neoplasm. <coughs> Uh, we will use the dental classification in thyroid neoplasm. Thyroid neoplasm can be classified or can be divided into, like any neoplasm, benign and molecular. The benign neoplasm of thyroid is the follicular adenoma. There is no papillary adenoma. Ad uh, uh, papillary tumor is always malignant. So the neoplasm can be divided into benign and malignant. Malignant tumors divided into primary and secondary. Secondary is from the kidney breast, elsewhere from the body. And the primary can be divided into adenocarcinoma, lymphoma, and medullary carcinoma. Medullary carcinoma form about 5-6%, lymphoma 5%, 45%, and adenocarcinoma 90%. Adenocarcinoma can be divided into differentiated and undifferentiated, and differentiated is the anaplastic carcinoma uh, form about 13 percent differentiated uh, the, the main type is babillary carcinoma 60 percent follicular 17 percent and there are some cases mixed which consider as untreated and managed as babillary carcinoma let us start with the benign tumor follicular adenoma follicular adenoma usually presented as a solitary thyroid node the complications of this adenoma, it may be liable for cystic de degeneration and hemorrhage into uh, the cyst, and it may be uh, converted into toxic nodule, or may, there may be malignant transformation into follicular carcinoma. The investigation that is required, thyroid function test to assess the thyroid status, which is usually uh, in follicular adenoma, which is usually is uh, eothyroid, neck ultrasound to see, to visualize the, the nodule if it's cystic or solid, usually in follicular adenoma it is solid, uh, 